Good day and God bless. Hi, I'm Pastor Brian. I'm a creator's kid and you are too. Welcome to another unalienable update. You know, I've been uh, receiving a, a few messages from some of our followers um, asking why I don't come on more often and give my opinions on things and uh, do some short shows and live broadcasts and things. And basically, there's just so much going on. And honestly, I'm not really on the pulse of it, if you, to, to be honest. Uh, as you've seen recently, I have been sharing some Intel updates from a good source that I've been receiving uh, when I get them. They've actually been coming in for several months, but I just decided to start sharing them because I've been seeing that they have been pretty accurate. So once again, we have that um, on our website, new Intel updates page that I showed before is on our uh, webpage, and I will put them there anytime they come in, as well as send out an email update to any of you on the newsletter list. And uh, also put up a short video here saying that we have a, a new update when that happens. Um, but I decided that maybe I will start doing these a little more often uh, just to because I do keep up with a number of things that happen and I do have thoughts and feelings about them. And so I think that I'll maybe share uh, some of those with maybe a prayer about them with you sometimes too. Okay. So today, uh, I want to take just a few minutes to touch on uh, two or three things that I do see going on. First of all, uh, President Trump has recently come out with a short video where he lays out some plans to, once again, as he says, dismantle the deep state, what he's going to do to change things. Now, we've heard this before from him, and we did, in fact, see him doing some things, uh, quite a bit, actually, when he was in office. But as we know, um, he ended up leaving office for reasons known only to him. Um, we've heard that he is still in power and that the military is behind him. Well, Actually, I don't see that happening, but uh, I can sort of feel it. So um, I'm hoping and praying along those lines with you. However, this video I mentioned does have a couple problems with it. Basically, it's one big problem that I see, and I'm going to uh, look at that with you now and point that out, okay? So I'm going to share my screen here. And here we have it. This is uh, from a few days ago, Forbes breaking news. Just in, Trump unveils plan to, quote, dismantle the deep state as possible indictment looms. Now, I've got some ideas about all of this really in the big picture, the so-called indictments coming his way and even some of these announcements. There's obviously a huge issue going on in the financial world, in this country and worldwide. The Great Reset is happening. I've been talking about that for a couple or a few years, okay? It's really speeding up banks are falling apart and many other things are happening and i'll touch on that briefly but what i'm saying is i think a lot of this is distraction from that however trump came out with a very strong short video statement here and i want to play it and I'll point out a couple of things here's my plan to dismantle the deep state and reclaim our democracy from washington corruption once and for all, and corruption it is. First, I will immediately reissue my 2020 executive order restoring the President's authority to remove rogue bureaucrats, and I will wield that power very aggressively. Second, we will clean out all of the corrupt actors in our national security and intelligence apparatus, and there are plenty of them. 
Okay, that sounds good. However, one of the things that I noticed, and it went by real quick, so I'm going to mention it. He's going to go back to it again in a little bit. What did he say about taking control back of our country? He said to reclaim our democracy. Anything ring wrong about that with you? I pointed this out before. Our country is not a democracy. It's a republic. It's a constitutional republic. Donald Trump knows this. And yet, Every president since after Reagan has called our country a democracy. And they push it and they push it and they push it. The media always calls our country and its government a democracy. There's a big difference between a democracy and a republic. A democracy is mob rule. It is one of the steps on the way to socialism and communism. Again, Donald Trump knows this, and it confuses me as to why he continues to say that. The American people have been so programmed over the past 30, 40, 50 years that we have a democracy, and now we all just accept it when we hear it, but that is not the case. All right, let's listen some more. The departments and agencies that have been weaponized will be completely overhauled so that faceless bureaucrats will never again be able to target and persecute conservatives, Christians, or the left's political enemies, which they're doing now at a level that nobody can believe even possible. Third, we will totally reform FISA courts, which are so corrupt that the judges seemingly do not care when they are lied to in warrant applications. So many judges have seen so many applications that they know were wrong, or at least they must have known. They do nothing about it. They're lied to. Okay. Again, I like most of what he's saying here. He said these things before, when he became president, when he was campaigning. And he did do a lot of it, as far as I can tell. Okay. He's coming on strong with it again. And uh, I'm hoping and praying that he really means it and will be able to do some more. All right, so I gotta give him credit. I do like much of what he's saying. Fourth, to expose the hoaxes and abuses of power that have been tearing our country apart, we will establish a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to declassify and publish all documents on deep state spying, censorship, and corruption. And there are plenty of them. Fifth, we will launch a major crackdown on government leakers who collude with the fake news to deliberately weave false narratives and to subvert our government and our democracy. When possible, we will press criminal charges. Sixth, we will make every Inspector General's office independent and physically separated from the departments they oversee so they do not become the protectors of the deep state. Seventh, I will ask Congress to establish an independent auditing system to continually monitor our intelligence agencies to ensure they are not spying on our citizens or running disinformation campaigns against the American people. All right. Um, you heard it again. He said our government and our democracy. So I'm still confused about this. It's one of the red flags that I've been seeing with him all along, um, along with the jabs that he pushed so hard and still takes credit for. But once again, nobody's perfect. Um, I do like most of what he says and has done. And I definitely have to support him over some of the others, <laughs> especially in the occupying regime that we have right now. Um, so I wanted to just uh, bring that up because it is something that has been bothering me. Um, we do not have a democracy. We have a republic. He should be talking about restoring the republic, not reclaiming our democracy. Okay, so there's that. Another update, William Cooper 
in the past, um, we featured him on our Unalienable channel and programs quite a bit. And uh, I have put up some of his programs that I have found very um, inspiring and enlightening. Um, I also, on our website, as you know, have a page um, dedicated to William Cooper. And let me show that to you here now. This is our website, unalienable.online. Here is the Intel Updates page that I mentioned. If you click on that, there will be Intelligence Updates uh, regularly posted here, at least every couple of weeks when, uh, when I get some information come in. But William Cooper, uh, we have a page for him, as I have shown you before. Um, and I've been uh, slowly updating um, his list of um, hour of the time programs here. He has so many and I've been busy, I haven't been able to keep up with it much. The other thing is on our channel here, um, I have presented some of his videos and I've got a playlist here, the hour of the time. But I wanted to show you another channel that does this much better than I can, okay? It's on BitChute, uh, bitchute.com. There's a page, The Hour of the Time. I've been subscribed and following it. This person is putting out lots of his shows. They're putting up videos of his programs, radio programs. And so I would suggest that you go here bitshoot.com if you really like uh, William Cooper, and I think we should all listen to what he did and said as much as possible. Go to Bitshoot, look up the hour of the time, and subscribe to that, okay? Finally, cryptocurrency. Well, we're right on the cusp of some big things happening, and I think that we should keep our eyes on it. Um, as I said, there's a great big reset happening in the world. I've mentioned before Stellar Lumens, uh, XLM. We did a program on that with MoneyGram a few months ago. Um, that's one of the cryptocurrencies that I believe is part of the new system. Also, XRP, Ripple. So those two you'll probably get the best bang for your buck as the dollar collapses. Um, one interesting thing I've noticed um, in Florida, Governor DeSantis has recently been talking about opposing the Federal Reserve and the Treasury in their attempts to bring out a central bank digital currency that can be used to uh, control the population. Um, DeSantis recognizes that's a bad idea. And he's making an attempt in Florida using the state powers that he rightfully has uh, to say that they will not be using that in any of the banking systems in Florida. That's great idea as far as I'm concerned. Even if XRP and XLM are gonna be part of that system I still think that he's taken us the right way there. He also, uh, from what I'm hearing, is working to open up the state regulations in banking there in Florida to cryptocurrency and digital assets in general. So I think uh, that he's right on. That's a genius move for Florida, if, if you ask me because of all the uh, abuses by the SEC and other agencies trying to kill crypto and, and hurt people like us who uh, invest in it. He's gonna get a lot of business there and a lot of people in support in Florida. I hear Texas is working toward that as well. So I guess that's it for today. I don't wanna go on too long. I wanna try to keep some of these updates as short as possible. But please uh, visit our website there at unalienable.online. Sign up for the uh, newsletter. 
and uh, write to me if you have any questions or ideas about what you'd like to hear on this program. I have been getting um, emails about the uh, land patents and also about some of the mandate lawsuits that I was talking about some time ago. Um, I don't have a lot to say about that, although um, I can refer you to the people who are expert in those areas. Um, as I posted a video a while ago saying, I'm not an expert, but these people are. You might want to watch that. So thanks for joining me again. I will try to come up on here a little more often. Um, also about the ministry, Unalienable Endowment. We are moving ahead with that as well. I've basically got it formed. I'm not registering it now as a government corporation, keeping it private. I'm going to move ahead step by step with that slowly. But um, we are being formed as a common law trust, a self-supporting ministry, basically, the unalienable endowment. All right. Well, once again, thank you for joining us today. Um, God bless you. Shalom to you. I'm Pastor Brian. I'm a creator's kid, and you are too. God bless. <laughs>